I'm Megan. I'm Sierra. And I'm Maggie. And, and we're, we're from, from the Gymnastics 2. Welcome to TC Tuesday. Today we're going to be doing another cheap versus expensive video. So we have a cheap mat and a cheap beam and then our normal mats and beam. So we know the word cheap can be used relative. Some of you guys may think that these are not cheap, but for sure they are cheaper than the alternative, which is going to be name brand gymnastics products. So. Yeah, we also were just like trying to make sure that we had decent comparisons rather than like literally having those like puzzle mats versus like an actual mat. We wanted to make sure that we actually had a true test. So they're still way more like way cheaper than normal gymnastics products. Also, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking the button down below and make sure you press the bell icon to become part of our notification squad. And let's get started. So we're each going to be doing two scales on each of the gymnastics mats, and so we're going to be rating them one through five based on usefulness and how well they cushion. For usefulness, we just kind of mean if you can actually use the mat. So if it's like too small and there's a size issue, that obviously makes it less useful. So that's what that means. First, we're going to give you guys some information about our expensive mat, which is from Tumble Track. And the dimensions are 5 feet by 10 feet, and the mat is 2 inches thick, and it is on a rating for the mat. For usefulness, we are giving it a five out of five. And for how well it cushions, we are also giving it a five out of five. Just this can't mat, go wrong with this mat. It's perfect for like, it's kind of like hard and soft at the same time. If it's too soft, it's gonna be like almost harder on your landing. So this is perfect for cushioning you, but also giving you a stable landing area. It's also a very, very large mat. So you can do like a lot of stuff on it. And it folds up, so it is nice for storage. Next we have our cheaper option for a gymnastics mat which we got from Walmart. So the dimensions of it are 2 feet by 6 feet and it is 1 and a half inches thick. And it is $27.98. got done using our cheap gymnastics mat we're going to be rating it so for usefulness we are giving it a four out of five so if you guys couldn't tell like obviously in the videos the mat was a little short for some of the skills very small. but if you think about it this is like it's all ready to like be velcroed together it has velcro there's velcro all along the sides and like flaps and stuff and so you could literally build up your own mat and make it the size you need it probably still for a cheaper, price. a cheaper price. And now for how well it cushions, we are giving it a five out of five. Um, I thought this was like a pretty similar landing to our actual mat. I really actually liked the landing. Again, it was like soft, but also hard. So it was a good mat. It had a good cushioning. And if you build up the size, it really would be pretty similar to some of our mats we have. So for the balance beams, we're each going to be doing two scales on each beam. And we're also going to be judging them on their usefulness and their quality. So for usefulness, it's kind of the same thing as the mat. It's just based on how well we can use it, based on like its size and its dimensions and stuff. And then the second thing is quality, based on what it's made out of, if we like feel like it's good quality. Now we're going to give you guys some information about our expensive gymnastics beam, which is from Resolute. And the dimensions of it are, it's 8 feet long by 4 inches, just because that's how wide and roll beam is. And then it is 6 inches off the ground. And it is $228.
collectively agreed on a rating of one through five for the beam. So for usefulness, we are giving the beam five out of five stars. We love this beam. Yeah, it is honestly my favorite practice beam ever. Mm -hmm. It's so awesome, it just has like some nice height, but it still is like not as hard as an actual beam, so it's perfect for practice. And as far as quality, we also are gonna give it a five out of five. Again, like Megan said, it's like hard and soft at the same time, in the sense of it's soft enough for you to fall on it, it wouldn't hurt, but it's hard enough where you can like actually grip it and still it's like a stable surface. So this is a great beam. Next we have our cheaper option for a gymnastics beam. We also got this from Walmart. So the dimensions are four inches because that's again the width of a normal beam by eight feet and then it is 2.4 inches off the ground. And it is beam it folds up which is great and then this is what it looks like obviously so for usefulness we're gonna give this a four out of five so obviously it's a beam it's a line you can do I your had, skills on it I really like the height of this yeah it's still really close to the ground but also like tall enough where you've got like to hold on to the side and it was kind of like firm but we're except for like a point off because it kind of like sinks when you're on yeah. it yeah like my hands can't sink here right now. We're also, like, that kind of leads us into quality. We're gonna give that a three out of five. It's the weirdest thing to explain to you guys, but like if you stand on the top, it just kind of feels like you're standing on like a box. Like I feel like that there's could cardboard on the like top or something. Time. And like it, it sinks and it gets like wrinkly. It like the fabrics, you know, the fabric be a bunches up. So if you're doing a turn or something, your toes can get caught. Yeah, my toe literally broke. <laughs> but it just feels like you're gonna like sink. The fabric like, kind of sinking. coming off too. I think if you were to like do this on a like harder floor with a mat on top, like it It'd would be kind of like take away from the flimsiness of it. Yeah, so. we were on the grass, obviously. So that's our score for this one. All right, so now that we've finished using all of the gymnastics products that we got, it's time to determine what product we think is most worth it for its price. So for the gymnastics beam, we're honestly kind of split on this just because this beam is so cheap, but it's got like that weird boxy feeling, and the fabric's kind of weird. And our beam is actually like pretty expensive. It's two twenty eight, right? Yeah, it's definitely. But a it's price also difference. like really, really great quality, and I don't really think there's anything wrong with it. So we decided that we would just let you guys pick whatever beam you want for what's most important to you. If price is of your concern, this beam would work absolutely fine. You will be able to use it just fine. And if price isn't a huge concern, then the other beam is what I'd recommend. Um. Also for the map. We did choose this mat for being more worth its price. Wait, yeah, yeah. Wow, that was just interesting because you can put more together and there's nothing really like bad about it, just like the size. Yeah, which you and can it has handles, this. which is super convenient for yes. carrying it around. Travel size. <clears throat> so you could honestly buy more than just one of this mat and still be less at like your price. And yeah. you can build yes. it whichever way you want. So the mat was totally a win. It works just fine. The only bad thing is the size but then you can obviously build it more and they have the velcro so that's why we picked it we hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up let's try this video to 20,000 thumbs up also if you'd like a chance to be the pinned comment just comment down below which product that you would most likely buy and we'll see you on friday bye, bye.